Okay, everybody, here we are again. Another year, another uh, scandal, I don't know. Another Olympic athlete that has been outed, has been recorded beating their horses, and it is a just a brief lack of judgment or a mistake that never happens ever except when I got caught in a video. This here is Mocha. That's Luke. These two are absolutely fantastic together. And I kind of wanted to show a little bit of how sensitive horses are and how their skin is just like ours. If you get hit with something, it really hurts. And this lady uh, seems to have hurt her horses uh, in this video, whipped their horses, her horse, while another person is riding her horse 25 times in just the, the video, by the way. And horses are sensitive. They're just like us. They have, they, they, if you poke them like this, it doesn't feel good. It's, it's, it's not something that's, that's just a light. But if you take a whip and you want to kind of get them to do a thing because in these events, they've got to make them dance and, and do special walking procedures so that they'll win a medal and a prize and a ribbon and some other thing like that. And it is bizarre to me that anybody watches this for one, but two, why it's even tolerated. And we've discussed before why this happens. This happens because everybody around that person says, no problem, please whip the horse that I'm on. Or they say nothing and can feel like they say nothing, just like Sarah over over in the UK who decided to kick her horse in front of all of the kids. The kids aren't going to do anything. They're not going to say anything about their teacher. They think their teacher is normal because the teacher has been kicking and punching the horses for the whole time. But we have an event that is at the Olympic level. The Olympic level you expect to be very high end, to be athletes that, that work really hard and have high quality and high standards. But unfortunately, we actually have a pile of horse beaters. You know that these people regularly hit their horse because pretty much all of them carry a stick. And they carry the stick because that's what the stick is for. It's for hitting, mostly. Now granted, I have heard from the audience here and all over that there are cases where it's used just for guidance. But even that, it's kind of like, well, how did you get there? How did that stick suddenly become guidance to the horse? These guys just hang around with me, which is really nice. They give a good backdrop to, uh, you know, a video. But I wanted to show something interesting. I wanted to show, you know, if you touch a horse kind of like this, you see how that skin twitches? And I'm barely touching. It's tickly. Look at her. She's like, what are you doing? I don't want you to tickle me anymore. And that is exactly how sensitive a horse's skin is, just like us. If we get touched even slightly, we feel it. If you get slapped, you're going to know it. If you get whipped, I can assure you, both us and the horses have welts for it. And it is very uncomfortable because it does damage to the skin, the underlying structures, depending on how hard. And of course, mostly, I want everybody to consider that it affects the mind. When you take a horse and you treat them poorly. They are going to show that for a long time. Trauma takes a long time to get rid of. We know that because we watch many horses out there be traumatized and show that trauma in many, many ways. Whereas if you are very, very nice to your horses and you don't go about punching, kicking, whipping, or beating them, or taking a stick to them in any way, or whipping them with ropes, that's a pretty common thing. What is it, buddy? then they're nice as well. They're just nice, friendly, peaceful animals that absolutely 100% do not want to be hit. None of them want to be hit. And it just blows my mind that while we see these videos, and people are like, oh, look at that happening. That must hurt the horse. What it really hurts is up here. And it's really, really unfortunate. That this stuff is just everywhere in the horse world. It is literally everywhere. It's not just in the Olympics. So you imagine that the Olympic level has athletes and, and coaches and teachers and role models that do that. Then you know for a fact that all the way down, there are a pile of people saying, that's a good idea. Now, don't get me wrong. There are many, like myself, that say, no, Dad, don't do it. That we don't hit horses. We just don't hit them. Unless you are in severe danger, there's absolutely no reason to go about physically attacking a horse. 
especially for something so silly as just a medal, as just social status. Maybe a little bit of money. There are better ways to make money than beating animals, I think. And not just physically beating them, but emotionally and mentally beating them as well. It just is crazy. So, if you want to stand up for what's right, then, you know, it's easy enough to just shout loud and clear to everybody that you don't tolerate this kind of thing and you won't tolerate this kind of thing and you know that it is not just one tiny little lack of judgment at the time and that never happened because that video was four years old that this 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 lady what was her name charlotte Desjardin or something the fact of the matter is that since that four years that that video was very conveniently released uh she's been doing that the whole time there's no doubt in my mind so Horses are sensitive. We want to be kind. We want to be sensitive to them. We want to have empathy. We want to have kindness and make sure that they feel safe. Not that they're doing a thing because they feel like if they don't, they're going to be abused for it. So that's my spiel. It's kind of off the cuff. I really have been thinking about it for a bit, but I haven't had time to kind of come out and really just sort of put that in a video for you guys. If anybody's interested in listening, please make sure you speak up. Make sure a lot of voices are out there saying, hey, you guys want to compete in these events? Well then do it in a way, find a way to do it in a way that is really good to the animal because they deserve it. So that's it for this one. I'll be back soon with more videos and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> what is it, buddy? What do you want? They just stay so close. How do you hit a horse like this? How do you hit an animal that is just so darn peaceful? I really don't know. I really don't understand. You know. Okay, that's it. <laughs>